last time we spoke, Robert, one of the sectors that you really liked as far as India was concerned was private banks. Uh, you did mention a little while ago that you see the NPL concerns receding on the back of a 25 basis point cut over the next uh, few months by the RPI. How concerned are you in terms of the NPL situation? We last spoke back in October end. Uh, the numbers only keep seeming to look ugly and the numbers that are actually coming out may not necessarily be the correct picture. Well, we anticipate that the non-performing loan situation for the private banks uh, will actually stabilize slash improve for a couple of the names. So we, we do anticipate improvement there. And on the public side, we, we do anticipate that there will be stabilize, stabilization there as well. Obviously, we, we did see quite an increase in non-performing assets back in 2012, which was one of the factors holding the, the sector back. Um, what's interesting right now, though, and, and, and is worth highlighting, is the fact that the valuation differential between the uh, public banks is at an all-time high relative to the private banks. So given the fact that we're actually um, fairly positive, shall we say, on the financial space within India, this could indicate that the public banks could perform very well, um, both against the market as a whole, but also against the, the private banks. Now, there is a degree more risk within some of the, the public banks, given their NPA situation. Um, but we think over time this will be resolved, and a lot of that is already priced into their valuations. So just in summary on that, we do anticipate that there will be a, a, a gentle improvement in, these, in many of these ratios for many of the banks, um, and that the valuation differential of the public banks is, is at an all-time high relative to private, um, giving them, uh, or making them, shall we say, look very cheap against that part of the market. You also told us uh, back uh, then, October N, that you liked IT, and a few people would have agreed with you back then, but you think you're, you stand vindicated with the kind of a turnaround we've seen in at least one of the bellwethers? Yeah, I mean, when I look at global IT, it hasn't performed very well at all. And we're, we're neutral on Indian IT as a whole. So just to give you the, the breakout there, we're positive on materials. That's where the key overweight is. And we're currently underweight staples where we think uh, the, the, the sector is extremely expensive relative to other valuations. Um, in terms of IT, um, it, it's a difficult sector. And I guess what we see is pockets of, of extremely good value uh, within the space. Uh, we are uh, still optimistic on IT at the global level, and it does remain one of our, our core overweights. And if you look at the larger IT companies, many of them are extremely cheap. Uh, relative to their own history and even against the market. And they continue to generate very good returns on, on equity. Uh, they have very strong balance sheets, so they, they're very defensive at the same time. And many of them are starting to increase their dividend payout ratio, hence the dividend yield of those stocks is getting quite high. And, and there are a couple of uh, U.S. names um, that are now yielding in excess of 4%. So I, I remain positive at the global level, and I think within India, one has to be more selective, but we are neutral on the sector overall. What would you be buying right now in India? Well, we think uh, some of the, me the material names uh, do look attractive, particular, particularly on, on the back of the government's initiative to increase infrastructure spend in that area. So we would be looking at the cement companies, for example, which is one area we do like. Uh, within financials, we continue to like the larger private names, but we're also uh, looking at uh, many of the public sector na public names, which we think uh, offer improved um, upside at this point in time. Um, and we also like a couple of the IT names. Um, some of them uh, are looking very attractive and should be able to expand their, their order books going forward. And, and following on from that, we also like some of the infrastructure names, particularly those that are involved in the space of construction, uh, both locally in India and also externally. So there's a number of different areas, but the, the key overweights there are materials. That, that's going to be fed off the infrastructure spend. And the one area that we'd remain out of is staples.